Good morning, friends. It's great to be with you today. Thank you for tuning into this broadcast today. I appreciate it so much. I want to talk to you about in Hebrews 1 and 1. God, who at sundry times and sundry times in different manners, has spoken in times past unto the fathers by the prophets, but in these last days, spoken to us by his Son, whom he hath appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. You know, I want to speak to you about this today. God used to speak to people directly in the Old Testament. There were a lot of prophets that were used in that particular time. God used even judges, and he used different people. God spoke to people. He used then angels to speak to people and talk to people and lead to people. And I thank God for all of that. But it goes on in verse number two, but in these last days has spoken to us by his son. That's Jesus Christ, his only begotten son. He is speaking to us today. I know many people uh, uh, are listening for something to hear from God. All you have to do is open up God's word. It's filled with many promises. And there are some conditional promises and then some unconditional promises. Conditional means that simply you have to do something in order to receive what God wants you. And then on the other way around, the uh, uh, conditional, unconditional means that God will give you something regardless of what you do. If he says it, if God says it, he will do it. I'm so glad for a big God who does great things for us. You know, people, God is using a lot of people today to prop in prophecy. The gifts of the Spirit are operational in the churches today, and they should be. But thank God, God speaks to different people, and sometimes their edification, they use people to speak to people. But folks, mostly God uses His Word to speak to people. When you look for a promise that's filled with the Word of God, all, all over the Word of God, there are promises, and that we need to stand on the promises of God. God is speaking to us today by his son. He died nearly 2,000 years ago that we might have life. He gave his life on Calvary that we might have life everlasting. And I'm thankful today for that wonderful word of the living God. He is speaking to us today. Uh, and thank God for the word of God and thank the Lord for Jesus Christ. Uh, don't ever forget to open your Bible because it's filled with so many promises. Uh, if you're hungry for God today, God will fill you. He will fill you to overflowing if you'll just ask him to come into your heart. This is Raymond Mayfield. Thank you for listening today, and I'll talk to you again real soon.